Hi everybody, Lisa McCallum here, your divorce specialist and authority on moving on after divorce. Well, it is Easter weekend and we've been cooped up with our spouses for about a month now and things are starting to really sink in as to whether or not you can salvage this marriage. You've been wanting to get out and now you've had to make that decision to stay together probably for one of the most important reasons and that's financially. You can't split right now. Maybe you were in the process of separating, getting divorced, maybe even moving into a home of your own and maybe you've even lost your job. So now you're not working and you have to stay in the matrimonial home together and figure this all out. And I just want to give you some hope and belief that this is gonna pass, that things will get better, you will have a job and you will have a home of your own. You just have to be extremely patient in this time. And a key way for you to get through this, and I am talking to women here who are feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, everyone's together, you don't wanna be in this marriage anymore for many, many reasons. And that's even women who are just starting to really piece this all together for yourself. You're at the very beginning stages of saying, I don't want to be in this. You're making that decision for yourself that you can get out of it. You can have a place of your own. You can have income of your own. You can be fulfilled. Your children can thrive and they will and you will have an amazing and incredible life the way you want it and the way you see fit for yourself and your kids. It's all possible. I've done it, I've made it happen. So there is your proof right there, okay? It takes time. Number one, educate yourself. This is a perfect time to get on your iPad or your phone. If it's your phone, you can do that in private and get yourself educated on what you can do to help yourself move forward. And there's many ways to get yourself educated, okay? Number one, look at all of your finances. Get as much information as you can. I've said this before in other vlogs that I have done. You've got to get yourself in a, in a um, situation uh, where you are informed about all of your finances in every single way. So get yourself online, um, logged in, looking at all of your bank information so that you know where everything is at because it's going to be split in half. And that's what you're dealing with. Start figuring out a budget for yourself. You are very important and um, intelligent women out there who've been cooking and running the household for a long time. So, how much does food cost? How much does your family need? How much do you think you're gonna need on your own when you get out? Start thinking ahead when you're actually split, not right now when you're in the house together because that's gonna put you in a down roll, downward spiral. It's gonna drive you mentally insane. It's planning for the future when you're out. Can you afford to keep the kids in all of the sports and activities that you're in right now? Can you say no to those things? And I'm asking you to ask yourself, what is more important right now? 
staying in something that is not serving you. It's a shitty and a toxic relationship. It's draining you emotionally. You can't stand it anymore mentally. You're not sexually attracted anymore to this person. Your needs aren't being fulfilled. And it's been like that for a long time. Maybe you've done some counseling together, counseling on your own. Regardless, it's not changing and it's not going to change anymore. So, you've made this decision. Now think of the future. Like I said, get yourself um, financially intelligent about everything that you have. Get a book where you can write all of this stuff down and start to budget. Learn how to budget. You can look up lots of budgeting and lots of um, things online that can help you out with that. You are cooped up in your kitchen. You can look at all your food. You're the one that's doing the groceries. Keep all your grocery lists and start to add that all up and figure out how you can ration that stuff all out. It might be that that's the way you got to do it for quite some time until you can build up your um, career again. And uh, I know what that's like. I know what it's like to look at every dollar and every penny that you've got and make it work for yourself. But it will change. It changes in time. You can get more work for yourself, better your career. You may have to take courses and start something fresh. I had to do that within my career as well. I had to change to a completely new hospital, learn all of that, um, the way they x-ray. My job uh, and career has been in radiology as an x-ray technologist. I went from adults to x-raying them to children. I had to learn all over again and it took time. It wasn't easy. A lot of this is not going to be easy. It's not a walk in the park. But have hope and belief in yourself. And I'm saying I believe in you and I have hope in you. If you want to talk any of this over with me, I would be happy to do that with you. I know that you're scared. A lot of you are embarrassed. And you're wondering about how am I going to do this? My kids are going to be completely a wreck and stressed out about this. And my family's not going to understand me. My friends aren't going to understand me. I know what that's like as well. You can gain new friendships out of this. You can gain new friendships in all areas of your life, at work and personally. And new family friends as well. If your family doesn't understand you, there's lots of people who will understand you. Even in your religion that you have right now, don't know what that is over this particular weekend, Easter, whatever that is for you, whatever denomination that you are and that you've been raised in, there are people out there who understand you if they don't. And it is absolutely okay to be leaving your faith and doing something that you believe in for yourself. I haven't completely left myself. There are things that I still really like, but in general, I had to learn new things for myself and forget all of those man-made rules that have been out there for centuries so that I could make this decision that's in the best interest of me and my kids, okay? So it's all right to get divorced. In this day and age, it's okay to do it. If you aren't being satisfied, things aren't going great between the two of you, there's no hope for it to get better, then you can get out and you've got the courage to do it. Just believe in yourself, have the patience, and get yourself educated, and you will be able to make this decision for yourself. 
And like I said, if you need any help, please reach out to me. I will hold everything in strict confidence so that we can help you get out of a marriage that is not good for you any longer. Have a beautiful Easter. Take care of your health. Take care of yourself. And let's have a chat, okay? Bye for now.